All right, we are now in our cat sink facility, so with us, we're going to show you the different rigs that we have. Um, there is a couple for testing the stem, some for testing the motor the suspension, and even a drop test for the box. This is a rig to test with stem, and see that right now it's pushing the stem and the scooter is locked in place. This is obviously not one of our scooter and not one that we're gonna release, so don't wait for it. So this one is pushing 50 kilograms and it's gonna do 100,000 repetition. For comparison, on our scooter, the Apollo scooters, we are pushing 80 kilograms and we are doing 300,000 cycle. Uh, and we are not just pushing, we are pushing and pulling uh, to really thread test the direction tube, the stem, and the pulling mechanism. So far, the CD2023, the Air2023, and the Pro2023 are the only scooters that withstand 300,000 cycle. This one broke after 40. Thousand cycle. Here you have a testing rig because now you see the city single motor on it and you can see this is quite content. Um, usually the rigs are only meant to support 100 kilos when you test uh, and you can see that us we take weight around it um, and this is representing 250 kilos. This is way above the weight limit that we advertise but we really want to stress test the worst case scenario. And this is simulating uh, the weight if someone jump off a curve, for example, with the scooter, because the stress factor is going to be much more than their actual weight. Um, so yeah, kind of ridiculous to see all the weight strapped on it. Um, but again, it's a great test. So here you have the wheel taking the bumps every uh, three times every rotation. And at the back, the rear suspension is also fixed to the rig. And you can see that the springs are always working up and down. So the whole scooter is always jumping. Uh, making the suspension work, but also the neck of the scooter. You can imagine the amount of stress that is being put in this component here is uh, it's quite ridiculous. Then we have the simple rolling test. Um, and this one, you can see it from another customer. To be honest, we only use the rake that we just showed you because this one is not hard enough. And look just the difference between the two. Here, if we show that, here you see there is no bump. It's almost barely moving. And again, look at the city there. You see jump, so that's the one we use and we just bought another one that is even worse than this one. The, the two wheels are going to spin and at the same time the stem is going to shake like the first rig. So it's going to be testing both suspension and the stem at the same time and it's going to be brutal. Here we have the rig for the box dropping so you can decide the height that you want to drop the box. Those things are going to close, you, do, you put your box, you do one side, you drop, you flip the box on the other side, you do basically every side and you just make sure that the fragile part like the fenders, for example, or the screen, the throttle uh, are not going to break with impact on the box. And that's how we ensure that when we ship scooter to you, uh, you receive them and they are in perfect condition. Here we do some water tests when we drop the whole body of the scooter in the water uh, and there's a little pump that we can make the water go inside uh, faster. Um, and sometimes we also do salt water tests on this. So you're going to add, add salt and uh, to see the effect on the salt on the road that's going to have on your scooter. This is a battery testing. Uh, so you can see here we have a city battery, city battery, city battery. Uh, also the city, the new city battery, those two. We have the pro battery and this is a air battery. And basically we are doing charge and discharge tests. So we're going to discharge it at the max discharge current we can and then charge it again. For every production, we do it uh, for around 3% of the batteries um, and we see on the computer uh, the aging cycle. So right now there's only two that are working um, and this one is charging, this one is discharging. Um, and again like this, we see the aging of the battery, we see if the BMS is good because from one batch to the other, you know that small PCB, small battery management system, that's what we call BMS. Um, they change, so you want to make sure that you always get the most reliable product. This is our famous throttle testing machine. Uh, this is that amount times uh, 10,000, right? So right now we have 230,000 cycle on the throttle. Uh, those are the new V8. This is the sixth iteration of the V8. Uh, so we like, we did a ton of change inside because we were realizing it was not uh, what uh, up to our preference. So right now, we're gonna stop it and you can see that there's still butter smooth after 230,000 cycle. Again, like we mentioned in previous video, the industry standard is 100,000 cycles. So, and we're gonna do 300,000 cycles. So it's three times above the industry standard. This is to check uh, at the microscopic level, uh, the metal that we receive. Uh, we do a scooter with 
6061 aluminum uh, and this is how you see it you can see uh really up close that there's air bubble in your metal too so that's pretty cool but to check the um, hardness of the metal we use another deck so this one you cut a little piece of the metal you put it here you're gonna turn this it's gonna go up and it's gonna press on that little tip here and based on the result that you're getting on the dial, you're going to be able to establish uh, if it's really 60, 61 aluminum that you have, if there was a heat treatment like C6, like we do here. Um, so that's a really important one that you have here. So that's pretty much it for all the testing that we do. Uh, on top of that, we do beta production, like, you know, so this is just lab testing, but the real testing happen, happens in the real world with you, our customer, that is part of the beta, like we do for the bro. Um, so let us know if you want to see more about it. It's going to be a pleasure to show you.